Yeah, hi. Um, I wanted to see what I have to do about filing a restraining order against this uh, guy harassing me uh, over for over for six years through electronic harassment, threatening me about sextortion scam that he's spying on me through my uh, uh, monitor monitoring sys services. He's spying me through my phone and he's been invading my email and hacking my internet search results and um, posting stuff about me on social media that is uh, obviously a extortion scam and, and exploiting, ex making exploitation on me on through Facebook. And I've been trying to get a hold through Facebook, but I can't get a hold of anybody. And this guy is um, very mischievous and very, very harassing, very vindictive. And I broke it off on Facebook in 2016, and he tracked down my personal information and um, is uh, sexually abusing me and uh, using the Internet system to abuse the um, Internet system through IP network um, abuse, uh, phishing emails, spoofing emails, scams, sextortion threats. He's been sending me inappropriate sexual content for the over past six years so he tracked down my personal information and tracked down my email and using my personal information to make threats to me every single day and he will not stop okay so have you filed a police report yet i filed a couple of police reports and nobody doesn't want to do anything about it i can't get a hold of facebook because this is where it all started through facebook um i made the worst mistake in my life getting in contact with this guy because he is a womanizer he is a sexual offender and uh, a, a and uh, he, uh, some female had told me that she was uh, sexually assaulted by this guy. And uh, he is out of control. He thinks he has some kind of ma uh, manipulative power over me through uh, technology interference, through social media, uh, through the Internet, hacking my, my, um, my information, using my information to send sextortion threatening emails to me every single day and I collected over 45,000 emails from this guy through two different um, email accounts through Gmail. So he invades my email every single day through fraudulent forged emails, abusing the, the internet email system and the internet system to, to do some kind of manipulative controlling um, in technology interference through his hacking, he's been doing doing a lot of hacking in my m through my information and using threats that he's spying on me and uh, posting inappropriate privacy pictures about me on social media through Facebook. And I try to communicate through him through Facebook because this is where it all started. And I can't get to his profile to see what he's actually posting about me. Um, on his profile. I can't get into his profile to see what he's posting about me and he's posting inappropriate privacy, uh, sextortion, uh, sex revenge, very vindictive, very ugly. This guy is ugly, so ugly hearted, so harassing, um, so impulsive. He is borderline sociopath. Um, he's very, very drunk. He's a very hardcore alcoholic and he uses his, um, uh, his, his sexual, uh, abusive tendencies to go against free men, free wills against, a free will against women and abuses them through extortion and threatening them every day and, he's very, he's a dangerous online guy that will not stop bothering you after you when's the last time that you tried to report to, to an agency um i wanted to call the fbi and tell them about the the sextortion um incident about him spying on me through my monitoring sy system through my cameras and um I, the last time I got a hold of the cops was last year, and nobody doesn't want to do anything about it because I contacted the FBI. I've been doing a lot of investigating on, like, what this guy's malicious behavior is doing towards me. He tries to get this, he tries to use this, um, uh, my identity as a way to get to me because I broke it off with him in two, 
2016 just because I do not want to have sex with this guy. He thinks he has the, the ability to kind of control me and try to manipulate me and try to harass me every day through email communication, through internet, um, um, you know, uh, networking abuse. And nobody doesn't want to do anything about it. And so whenever I have my Facebook profile in good standing because I've been getting suspended because I have no other way of getting in contact with this guy because he hacks these email communication, hacking my internet search results, all of that. He's very, very abusive. Very, very abusive. I don't know why he does this, but he has a serious psychological problem with himself because um, he's, uh, uh, like I say, he's really, really uh, lost in the head thinking that he could do this malicious activity towards me to get at, get at me in some vindictive way because I refuse to go meet this guy and have sex with him. So he thinks he has some kind of uh, manipulative power over me, thinking he has some power over my body for some reason. And this guy is really, really, truly offensive. Like, he needs to be caught because... Uh, just because I didn't do anything about it, he thinks he could just keep doing this uh, in email invasion by, um, you know, like I'm saying, very, very intrusive, very, very harassing. And he needs to be stopped and be told that he can't be doing this to women and get away with it because he thinks that I'm not going to say anything about it to the cops. Like I said, he's like... I have been a victim of this guy for about six years already, and he will not stop bothering and harassing me. So nobody doesn't want to do okay. anything about it, and I don't know what to do to get this guy, because he's overseas. He, he lives in Finland, um, Europe, and I'm here in New Mexico. So when I got in contact to, with him in Facebook in 2016, I broke it off, and since I broke it off, he is a, a online dangerous offender to stalk women online and cyber abuse them, cyber stalking. And like this guy's out of control. Um, he needs to be put in his place for the cops to tell him to stop bothering me because I don't know how to file a restraining overseas, but I have so much evidence against this guy. I have over 35,000 emails from this guy. I have screenshots of internet search results of uh, him hacking my internet um, profile names. Like I said, this guy is a tragic head wreck mess. He's out of control, very abusive, very abusive and alcoholic, and he is um, a really, really bad guy. He is known to be a bad guy in Manta because females had came up to me and told me that Mika Ajale, his name is Mika Ajale, from Finland is a very, very criminal intent kind of personality type person. And he thinks he could push women and pick on women and abuse them and act like a criminal thinking he can get away with it. There's my story right there. I don't know who to turn to, but this is driving me insane. I keep telling my doctors about it. I told the cops twice about it. I don't know how to get a, get a hold of Facebook to stop this abusive behavior because it's really, really, it's sexual exploitation of my character through social media profiles and using my personal information to stalk me, uh, to use my personal inf information for identity theft and to use my personal information information to use it against me so I don't know where to turn to I'm calling you guys to see if I can file a restraining order and somehow submit it through some kind of Courthouse. okay so do have more information to help you okay so can I have the phone number yes give me just a sec let me get it for you Okay, yeah, I don't know who to contact, but this is a really, really serious issue. It impacts me every freaking single day, and it's driving me insane because I don't know what this guy's problem is. He thinks he has, like, the like some kind of dominance over females, and they have to be submissive under him so he could have some kind of controlling power to control women, which is very, very wrong in his head. He's really, really wrong. He needs to be stopped. 
Hold on. Let me get the number. What is it? It's 841. Is it 505? Yes. 505-841-8400. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.